Hi friends, welcome back. Um, today we're going to um, go over how to use Google Slides to make a picture or a JPEG file. And this is so easy. So there's so many different things that you could do, so many ideas that you could use for Google Slides to make pictures with. So the first thing is I wanted to go over the page size. So you can go to file and you can scroll down to page setup. And if under your options, you'll have custom right here. And if you just choose custom, you can create your own custom page setup. Now, I used to like to make my own custom pages back back in the day on uh, Microsoft Publisher. That was my favorite tool. And um, it let me edit freehand, and it also let me create these custom page sizes, just like here. So I can set my custom page to 11 by 8.5, which is a normal size sheet of paper, but this is landscaped size. I'm going to get rid of these text boxes real quick. <clears throat> but if you wanted it portrait, all you have to do is flip that and go eight and a half by 11. And then you are portrait. So you can do three by five, you can do seven by nine, you can do whatever size you want for your posters. Now I'm going to give you some ideas before we make a quick poster here. And that is, I have used Google Slides to make my computer club certificates. So I have two different ones. I have computer club and then I had coding club that I ran. And I made those almost the same format, but I made different badges for the kids to be able to earn computer club and coding club. And I just made them a little bit different. So here is a certificate that I can print out in beautiful color and hand out to students after they are um, completed with my clubs. I've also used them to make different seating chart templates. And slides is really convenient because you can make, you can insert different shapes, just like the old um, publisher. You can insert all these shapes, arrows, callouts, equations, and these shapes all work like text boxes. So you can type inside of them. So they're really useful. I can insert a little graphic and put my teacher desk here and the projector screen here and the, the door to the hallway, and then all my tables and little text boxes for student names that I can do. And then I can make all sorts of different setups for whatever classroom I make. I've also used mine to make my own seating chart template. So this tells um, the nurse right now for contact tracing for COVID where my desk is, where everybody sits, how far apart they are, all those nice details. And the last one that I use is my actual thumbnail graphics for my uh, videos. So I've thrown in the background of the school logo and then a text box over top. I've inserted my um, my transparent picture and then my own byline. So I have a nice graphic that I can then download as a JPEG and set as my thumbnail. So once you're done designing, well, we can actually throw, throw a few things in here. So I have my kids go to Google Images and search for, um, let's say safari animals just throwing in an idea here and so we can grab that cheetah just drag them up drop them onto that google slide and it creates that image it is so easy i can resize i can re-angle i can give it a border i can give it a nice thick border and throw it wherever i want I can also insert a text box over top of it and give a captions, insert captions, make them nice and big. There's just so many things and it's so easy and versatile. Here's all of my different font colors. Oops. And then you've got the layer, layering feature. feature. Let me give this a solid background so it pops over top of my picture. So just within a few seconds, I've been able to do quite a few different graphic design um, things. And I can also layer objects. So I can go on to <clears throat> a picture or a text box and go to a range, and I can slide them behind each other or in front of each other. So if I brought that forward, now my text box is slightly behind. You can see. 
So there are a lot of different design elements built right into Google Slides that work just like the old um, publisher that I used to love so much. So when I'm done with my graphic, here is the last thing that you can do. When you go to File, one of your options is to download. And from the download option, you can turn this into a PDF um, a JPEG, which is my favorite go-to because it's so versatile, you can put it into anything, a PNG, or turn it into a PowerPoint. So a few of the different advantages, JPEGs are just so easy because it can it turns this into one picture slide instead of all these different elements when I'm done designing. Um, the difference between that and a PDF is that the PDF will turn the entire um, slideshow into a PDF file. So if I wanted to um, insert another slide and do a second design, this time I could I could um, download the PDF and it will download both of those slides. If I am wanting to just download the one slide, then I would go to file and download and you see JPEG says current slide right there, current slide or PNG says current slide. So this will only download one slide and turn it into a picture, whereas the PDF will, do, will download all the slides in there and turn them into a PDF. So either way is very versatile and helpful. And there are so many ideas that I've generated from just this one concept of turning a slide into a JPEG. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little quick tutorial and I'll be back with more ideas after this. Um, my next one is going to be how to have kids make their own memes using Google Slides. So thank you and have a great day.